Well, I guess a lot of you have probably heard of this whole debacle with the piano player in London, Brendan Kavanaugh, and the Communist Chinese Party that were there to film. And they were all upset because Brendan was, you know, got them in the background of his video and and they weren't supposed to do that because they had things there that that's not allowed and whatever because they're with the official Communist Chinese Party. And, uh, you know, they're yelling at the guy and everything else and Brendan thankfully did not back down and just basically said, this isn't Communist China, this is, this is the UK, this is Britain. Um, you don't come here and tell us that we can't have free speech. Uh, <clears throat> and they were just, uh, just amazing how they were trying to corner the guy and just put him down and, and then they did the famous thing, oh, you're racist. You know, I get so sick and tired of that. Uh, just a bunch of nonsense. I don't really even know anybody that's truly a racist in terms of um, believing that their race is superior and that the others should be wiped out. Uh, you might have some of what goes on over in Africa, some of the genocides over there. You know, maybe that is racism, but I don't know too many people that are white that think that they are superior to all other races and that they should, you know, wipe out other races. I don't know of many like that. But, you know, it's a good way to get, gain political control over people by saying uh, that they're racist. So, but uh, it brought up an interesting point. Uh, this communist Chinese guy, and he's yelling at uh, Brendan and uh, for standing up for freedom of speech. And it really illustrates the point that uh, communist, atheistic communists cannot stand freedom of speech. Atheism has worked for years to silence their opposition. Why? Uh, because they can't handle opposition. They can't handle a concept like liberty of conscience because you see, liberty of conscience comes from God. God gives man free will. Atheism seeks to take away that free will. Atheism says, uh, you're not allowed to uh, film me in a public place. How dare you? I'm going to make you, I'm going to force you to, to delete that because I don't appreciate that. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, that's what atheism is. That's why uh, I will never be an atheist. Uh, atheism is the death of liberty. It's the death of freedom. Look what atheists have done in our schools here in America. Atheists have taken our schools in America and they've said, um, you can only teach one thing here in the school. In a public school, you can only teach evolution. You can't teach intelligent design. You can't teach biblical creation. You know, I've seen this thing. I remember there was something with that Noam Chomsky or whatever his name is. And he was someplace speaking and they said about how that, um, you know, how that, uh, you know, young earth creationism is so dangerous or whatever. And I thought, how is young earth creationism dangerous? How is it a danger to anybody? Well, you might get people believing in heaven and hell then and the wrath of God and God's going to burn you forever or something. And then what does that lead to? It leads to people being morally uh, good people and living and, and fighting against sin. Oh yeah, you don't want that. that that'd be a terrible thing for society if people actually were righteous. Uh, you know, atheism is far better. Just do what you want. Do what thou wilt shall be of the whole of the law. Thank you, Aleister Crowley. But atheism is what we're dealing with out there right now. And to all the people out there, whether you're Christian or just a freedom-loving Protestant, somebody that protests evil, uh, Catholics aren't allowed to protest evil. They can only protest to a certain extent to which their church allows them to, to protest. So that's why uh, free people aren't Catholics. But uh, any kind of a free, uh, saved person or a Protestant, we need to defend at all costs our freedom of speech. Because if your speech can be controlled, you've lost everything. I mean, uh, you know, John Bunyan, the famous writer of Pilgrim's Progress, wrote a lot of it, if not all of it, I can't remember the exact details, but he wrote a lot of that in prison. They didn't suppress his speech. And a lot of the old time preachers, they would go to prison, they'd be put in prison. Uh, the Apostle Paul, Peter, they'd be put in prison and they'd get out of prison, the Lord would break them out or whatever, and, and they'd go back and they'd start preaching the same thing. They would not give up their freedom of speech. I don't know what Brendan's, uh, Brendan, uh, 
Oh, what was the last name? Can't even think of his last name now. The guy, the piano player on YouTube that this whole controversy thing's about, Kavanaugh. Um, I don't know what his spiritual beliefs are. I don't know if he has any. He could be an atheist, whatever. I have no idea. But I know one thing, and that is he protested. That's the right thing to do. Somebody comes along and they say, we're going to control your speech. We can't allow you to have freedom of speech. Sorry, you've, you're done talking now. And if you continue, you're a racist. You're a misogynist. You are a terrorist. You're whatever. Sorry. I am a free man. I have a right to speak. And YouTube tries to suppress the speech of people. They'll suppress the speech of the right, but not of the left. The left can take videos and clips and things, and they'll use them, and it's, oh, uh, fair use under Section 107 of the Fair Use Clause in U.S. Copyright Law. Then a right-wing guy or whatever, like me, tries to do it. Oh, you're violating copyright law. Absolute nonsense. That's why I'm against atheism, and that's why all free people must be against atheism. Some things to think about. See you in the next video. I'd like to say a few more things to the Communist Chinese Party. Um, before I really truly close this video. Uh, many years ago, I met a missionary named Ralph Tolliver. And Ralph was a very old man when I met him. And he had been in China as a missionary before the communists took over. And he loved the Chinese people dearly. And he was kicked out of China because when the communists came in, they got rid of all Christians. And um, I remember him saying, sitting at the table with him, and he looked at me and he said, I saw what the communists did when they took over, how they killed their own people in such huge quantities. And he said, I have no sympathy for communists. And a um, very loving, very warm Christian man, very godly man. But you know what? When it comes to communism, I have no sympathy for communists either. And uh, my message is that if the communist Chinese think that they're going to come into America and get white Anglo-Saxon Protestants like myself, to just bow the knee and follow and do whatever we're told to do and you can censor our speech, uh, that's not going to happen. I choose death rather than censored speech. You will not get me to be quiet about the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the only way to do that is to kill me. And if you kill me, well, then you're going to just make more Christians. Just that simple. Because my martyrdom will inspire more people to fight against the communist system. And I realize that this very wicked government that we have right now, especially under the Joe Biden regime, um, they're very ready and, and uh, willing to sell this nation to the highest bidder. And I know that China has quite a few treasury bonds and things, owns a big part of America. But uh, my advice is, um, you better leave us alone, unless you want a bad fight. And uh, I'm not at all afraid of communist Chinese soldiers, uh, little guys that they are and whatever else. They don't scare me one bit. And you don't have God on your side. All you have is atheism. Atheism is not any kind of a, a way to live your life. Um, you have no purpose. None. Other than that you're just an animal. You're no different than an animal. That's all that you believe. I have a purpose. I have a savior. The Lord Jesus Christ. And um, you don't. And uh, President Xi or whatever. Xi Jinping over there. Um, uh, you're going to go to hell. You're going to burn like any other lost sinner out there. You're not special in God's sight. That's just the way that it is. So these uh, wicked communist Chinese that were there trying to boss this uh, Brendan Kavanaugh guy around, um, you, uh, you've been mind controlled for nearly a century to believe that there is no God and that you won't be held accountable to him, and you will be. Uh, if you think that you can have enough arrogance to go to a country where some man is there and his ancestors have been there for thousands of years and you can just boss him around like you own the place or something. Uh, all this stuff about, all oh, the 21st century will be the Chinese century. No, I'm afraid not. Uh, God is not going to give worldwide power to communist Chinese. Uh, the Antichrist is coming to power in the future and he's not going to be Chinese or communist. Okay, so um, <clears throat> just wanted to put that in there at the end. Uh, I will not bow down to people that try to censor my speech. And I pray that you out there, regardless of what race or whatever you are, I hope that you're the same way. Don't bow down to people that try to censor your speech. Thank you for watching.